the hood attachment or the hair attachment to the facial attachment. The best way to do this is to just kind of wiggle the bracket off with the hood intact. Just kind of wiggle it off. Then you kind of set this to the side. And the facial attachment has a similar like tab on the end with the little red rubber strips. And the best way to do this, I like to kind of like use my index finger and just position it. You want to match up these, um, you want to match up the rectangular, the square to the squares at the top and kind of wiggle it in this place. Then do like a nice little turn to lock it in. And then we'll turn it on and we can show you how to use the facial attachment. On the back of the facial attachment is a similar, to, it's the same sliding tab that allows you to control the amount of steam that comes out. If you open it, less steam is come out, come, will come out. If you close it, more steam will come out. I also want to show you the difference between the ozonized steam and the regular steam. So we turn the UV light off. We turn the UV light off, and this is on steam. You can't see anything. Put your hand here, you can feel it, but you really can't see it. But when you turn the UV light on, you turn to ozone, you can see the steam. It comes out stronger, and basically it's, it's ozonized steam, and this is what's going to neutralize your scalp and your skin, and it's also going to help cleanse your skin. And then the best way to position it is you want to stand in front of it, and you want to kind of tilt it and aim it at your chin. And you want to make sure that you're a foot away because you see that it's coming out pretty strong. So about 12 inches, and you can turn the UV if that's too much and just do the steam. And now they go up your face. And what this does is the steam is gonna open your pores, similar to like what it does with the scalp. And it's gonna rid your skin of like the dirt, impurities, makeup, oil, excess product buildup. If you're putting like a bunch of stuff on your skin, um, and it's gonna pretty much set the stage for healthy skin and healthy hair. So once you're finished with your facial steam treatment, the best way to remove the facial attachment is to kind of put it back into position and you put it in and then slightly move it from side to side and make sure that you're holding the steam base firmly. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth and then that's, and then you're done.